Hey, church, if we're talking about faith, then we need to lean into the book of Romans, this great letter written by the Apostle Paul to the church in Rome that is packed with faith. In chapter 10, Paul emphasizes that entering a relationship with God isn't about being zealous. It isn't just about having some rules to, on how to live. It is all about faith. It is interesting that Paul emphasizes that, emphasizes that where faith resides within us, and he identifies two places, the heart and the mouth. He says in verse 8, the word is near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. And then immediately in verse 9 follows up and he says these words, we know them well. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Faith, therefore, is an action of both the heart and the mouth. It is outworked by the internal beliefs of the heart and the external proclamations of the mouth. To be a person of faith, we must. there must be a correlation between the things we most hold dear deep inside us and the words we say backed up by our actions. As you put your faith at work today, as I put my faith at work today, let us be clear about what we believe in our hearts and let the words we speak throughout this day bring life to all that we meet. When we saw words of faith, we will see the fruit of those words in the lives of those who hear what we are saying. That's why Paul writes in verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the good news about Christ. When you speak faith with your mouth, it creates faith in the hearts of those who hear it. And remember, it isn't just other people's hearts that your words create faith in, but your own heart, because you hear your words more than anyone else, which means whether you're speaking to others or talking to yourself, speak faith and let faith flourish within you. Have a fantastic day.